here's a lion, here's some sort of cougar, and it goes. Rrr, 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 rrr. Welcome back to Rewind with B. Schwitty because monkeys and rabbits loop de loop. Today we're going to be doing another wine pairing and I'm sorry if we've been doing a lot of wine pairings recently but it is National Animal Cracker Day so you know me I can't pass up a random national day to, to, to not try and pair it with some wine um, and I've been told that Zinfandel uh, will be good a good compliment to animal crackers, both the frosted and unfrosted, uh, because the key ingredient to animal crackers is that they are shortbread cookies. And according to some HuffPo article I pulled off from like three years ago, uh, Zinfandel will be a good pairing for that. So I have 2012 Midnight Cellars Willow Creek Zinfandel, and um, this has been sitting this has been sitting for a while in my cellar. I'm a little sad to part with it, but it's the first Zinfandel that I could reach without having to dig too far into the old cases. And from here, I'm gonna try some animal crackers, y'all. Uh, I haven't had Barnum's animal crackers in, oh, years. Um, I'm pretty sure it's been over 20 years since I've had these. But I'm really excited. Uh, I couldn't find the boxes that they used to come in. Uh, I don't know if you're old enough to remember that. But these used to not come in bags. And there's a little lion. Uh, for those of you that aren't from the United States, and I assume these are United States products, Animal crackers are what you give small children uh, when they need to use their imagination to both have a snack and to just play around. Because here's a lion. Here's like a... I'm going to say that's a pig? I think it's an elephant. The other thing, the boxes used to have all the animals on it so you could know what is what. Uh, I think it's a, I don't see it. Do you, can you, can you tell what that is? It's, I don't know. I don't know. I'll just have to eat this one. Ah. Here's a lion. Here's some sort of cougar and it goes, rah, 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 rah. Ooh, I'm getting back into the animal crackers. It's shortbread, but there's a little bit of lemon in there. Um, something that I never picked up on as a kid. So let's try our pairing, shall we? I have what looks like a dinosaur with its head cut off. It's a kangaroo. And um, a polar bear. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so this is a dry Zinfandel. Maybe they were thinking a sweeter Zin, but I don't know if this is the best pairing, the most optimal pairing. Um, while it does complement each other, um, it's not overly exciting. Let, let me try one more. Okay, I do like that. I see where they're coming from. Um, Paso Robles Zinfandel, ooh, wow. No, that'll do it. Um, just because this Zinfandel is a little bit higher in tannin, uh, I would recommend doubling up the animal crackers to sip of wine ratio. But once you hit that point, that's your pairing. That'll do it. And of course, I'm sure anything in the sweeter spectrum will do just fine. But I didn't feel like copping out. I felt like having something fun. Uh, speaking of fun, these I've had a little bit more recently than the last 10 years. Uh, these are the answer to the healthiness of the uh, Barnum's Animal Crackers. 
these are the original circus animals. Now these are these crackers, but they're covered in an icing and with sprinkles on it. So let's see how these fare. Now there's two colors, there's pink and there's white. I'm gonna go back down to a single cracker for the first test. Alonzi. Ooh. 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 I think the, the sugar actually kind of helps. It balances out the dryness of the wine, which is strange because usually you'll want to match the intensity of sugar for sugar to sugar. Um, but this is more of a complimentary pairing. It, uh, the, the brightness of the icing uh, kind of negates the bitterness of the tannins and wow uh, Let's just for good measure. We'll double up Hmm Now it's interesting doubling up While it's still mm, it draws out the tannins more than the wine Fascinating. Um, all right, let me just make sure the first one wasn't a fault, or maybe it's a different icing, possibly. Give me one second, we'll be right back. verdict it does pair it pairs really well um, with a single one of these and a sip of wine whereas you need two of these the plain crackers to balance out against the power of the Zinfandel but just because you have to change doses doesn't mean it doesn't pair well you just have to know how to balance it so that's a pair I'm gonna give it a pair I don't often give these things a pairing, right? So that was fun. Uh, happy National Animal Crackers Day, everyone. Uh, let me know what is your favorite childhood cracker and or cookie to pair with wine. Let me know if you want me to test out a pairing for it. Uh, I really enjoy doing this. I've, I've, I've missed the sweet simplicity of having animal crackers in my life. And um, Zinfandel's not bad either. Thank you for watching. Please share, comment, like, and subscribe. Um, you can find me on the socials, Instagram, at bschwitty, Facebook, slash bschwitty, Twitter, at bschwitty, Reddit, I think I'm somewhere on there, you slash bschwitty, and uh, eventually that Pinterest board will, will come, to, come to light. But for now, thank you for watching. This has been Rewind. My name is bschwitty, and I will catch you next time.